Hello, my name is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber. Today's topic is orifice sizing. Now an orifice is just a little device that restricts the flow of gas to a burner. Depending on the amount of BTUs, that orifice is either going to be bigger or smaller, but it does need to be very accurate in its size. Orifice sizes are rated in gauge, meaning I could have a 42 orifice or a 43 orifice. The thing you need to know about gauge numbers is the bigger the number is, the smaller the diameter of the hole. We're going to go through two sizing examples. One is going to be completely hypothetical, and the second one will be an appliance from my house. In order to properly size an orifice, I need four pieces of information. First of all, the type of gas to be burnt, the manifold pressure, how many BTUs the appliance will burn, and how many burners the appliance has. The first example is a 100,000 BTU natural gas appliance with a manifold pressure of three inches of water column and four burners. The first step is to take the BTU load and divide it by the number of burners. 100,000 BTUs divided by four burners equals 25,000 BTUs per burner. Now let's use the orifice sizing charts. So what we're gonna do is go down the three inch column until we find something that's really close to 25,000 BTUs. I see 25,200 at orifice number 38. That, however, is a little bit too big. That's more than the 25,000 that we calculated, so we can't use it. But if we go one size smaller at orifice number 39, that's only good for 24,300 BTUs. It's best to be a tiny bit underfired than it is to be overfired. So the correct answer would be orifice number 39. We have a mid efficient furnace here and it has four burners, as you can see there. It is natural gas. And let's have a look at the rating plate. So we have 88,000 BTUs of input and we can also see the orifice size here of 43. Let's see if that works when we do the math. So off of my furnace, which had an input of 88,000 BTUs, and yes, that is natural gas, we want to set the pressure to 3.5 inches of water column. Now you're going to notice on our charts, we don't have 3.5 inches of water column, so we're going to have to interpolate. Before I can interpolate, I need to do one special thing. I need to take the BTU input, which is 88,000 BTUs, and divide it by the number of burners, which is four. And that will give me 22,000 BTUs per burner. And now to interpolate. So now we need to do a little bit of educated guessing. We're gonna look down both the three inch and four inch columns and try to find some numbers where it looks like 22,000 BTUs would fall in between them. Let's go down to orifice number 42. The three inch column is 21,500. The four inch column is 24,800. Now we need to do some math to check whether or not that will work. Now it seems how 3.5 inches of water column is directly in between the three inch and the four inch water columns. All we're gonna do is average out these two numbers. So we're gonna take 21,500 plus 24,800, and that's gonna give us 46,300, and we're gonna divide that number by two. So 46,300 divided by two is 23,150. Now that is a little bit too much. That is higher than the 22,000, so number 42 orifice will not work. So let's go down one size. Let's look at orifice number 43. The three inch column is 19,300. The four inch column is 22,500. 19,300 plus 22,500 equals 41,800. And when we divide that number by two, we get 20,900. So this one works. It is a little bit less than 22,000, but it, it is not exceeding 22,000. So we are happy. So something you will likely never need to do because this is only for really old appliances, but drilling the orifice. If you decide that you need to drill the orifice, first of all, do not use a drill. You have to do it by hand. Second of all, you need to select an orifice size that is two sizes smaller than whatever you've decided you need. Last example, we needed orifice number 43. 
two sizes smaller is orifice number 45. So that would be the, the size of drill bit we would use to hand drill it out. Just a quick heads up, appliances today are very, very precision devices. And if you ever need an orifice for a particular appliance, go to the appliance manufacturer. You don't want to mess around with this anymore. Hope this video helped you out. Have yourself a great day.